Hello and welcome to Dateline Lagos on Channels Television. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. Coming up on the program, Lagos State Government empowers 350 artisans, State Government announces 2024 seasonal rainfall pattern, and Onjeko food discount markets continues across all local governments and local council development areas. 350 Lagosians are the latest beneficiaries of the fifth edition of the Lagos State Community Sensitization and Empowerment Program. Now, the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Ibujo Kesonwulu, who is in charge of the initiative, says the people living with disability, widows, the youth and other residents were carefully selected across the state to benefit from the 2024 empowerment exercise to help them become independent and also feed their family. She urged them to empower others and reduce the poverty level in Lagos State. Grinding machine, popcorn equipment, sewing machine, catering essentials, soap making tools, among other equipment are all displayed at the Lagos House, Ikeja, to be distributed to beneficiaries of the fifth edition of the Lagos State Community Sensitization and Empowerment Program. The wife of the governor of Lagos State. The initiative, organized by the Office of the First Lady, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwolu, is to support 350 Lagosians trained in different skills and also help them make a living on their own. As you can see, there are a lot of things here. All of you are going home with the items you are seated behind. Nobody is taking a dime from you, but see this as an opportunity to empower yourself. Because if you collect this today and you use it wisely, you'll be able to empower another person. But if you see it as something you want to sell, you will sell it, you will finish spending the money immediately, and you will go back to begging. And that's what she is trying to guide against. We are coming to your houses. If you notice, we are co we've collected your addresses. So if we know you are using it well, we will empower you more. But if we can't find what we've given you and you've sold it, no way. We will even fight you. Consider this grand opportunity in becoming one of the contributors towards economic growth, even as you transform to being financially independent. At this junction, I also want to emphasize the importance of unity and collaboration within communities. By working together, Supporting one another, we can achieve greater things and encounter minimal challenges in developmental advancement. Once again, I want to thank the delectable and supportive First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Claudiana Ibijoke Sawolu, the grand organizer of this laudable program, the sponsors, as well as the volunteers who have made this event possible. Your dedication, and commitment to improving the lives of women is highly valued and such gestures do not go unnoticed. To all participants in attendance, I urge you to be proactive in your pursuit for employment and lift each other up along the way. In addition, the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, we have about 19 skill acquisition centers across the state. If you need to know more, about what you are doing. Please avail yourself with the opportunity. You can walk into any of our uh, skill acquisition centers and tuition, they are all tuition free. The State Commissioner for Wealth Creation and his counterpart in charge of the Ministry of Commerce, Cooperatives, Trade and Investment encourage beneficiaries to utilize their equipment judiciously and not sell it off. The purpose of this program is to provide you beneficiaries with knowledge skills and equipment necessary to empower yourself and be useful to your respective communities. I therefore encourage you to fully engage in the activities that will make each and every one of you to be independent. Take advantage of the resources and opportunities that will be presented to you today. Remember, the power to create wealth and positive change lies within each and every one of us. See this as an opportunity to grow. Don't see it as an opportunity to make what you want to make now. Look into the future. It's not bad now. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. See, so many people are out there that don't, they don't have this opportunity, to ha opportunity you have. Take advantage of it. 
And look, I'll tell you one thing. To make it in life, it's not easy. For you having this opportunity, hold your family and see that, yeah, the future is bright. Challenges will come. But be strong-minded and be positive that I'm going somewhere. With this little war you're starting with, if you use it well, our excellency will surely call you again and see how well you've used it. I would like to believe that the community sensitization and mega empowerment program that we are gathered here today at the behest of our esteemed First Lady, it is not just a one-time event, it is a catalyst for change, a beacon for hope, for all those striving to break the chains of poverty and inequality. I urge all beneficiaries here today to seize this opportunity as esteemed on you by Her Excellency the First Lady to utilize the empowerment materials provided and to strive for the intended benefits with determination and resilience. Mrs. Sonwolu promised to continue to empower the people of Lagos State through collaborations with ministries to ensure no one is left out. A lot of people write letters to our office requesting for one help or the other. It could be financial, it could be equipment-wise. So this is how this idea came out, and we decided let's do it properly. If we're going to help, we'll do it properly. And then we also took advice from Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. We also um, learned things from the um, LSETF and then the Ministry of Wealth Creation. We were able to take the people that are seated here today by using a structure Looking at, from the letters that had been written to us, people with disability, the widows that approached us, some youths that also approached us, some um, people in the community that also approach us. So we use those structures to be able to pick the people that we needed to come here today. The Office of the First Lady, apart from this intervention on empowerment, which I said is a collabo, also has some other strategic areas of support and intervention. And one of them, which we are very strong on, is sexual and gender-based violence, war against drug abuse, making the boy child responsible and relevant at a very tender age. Also, you know that I'm a senior girl child, so I am also an advocate for the girl child, encouraging them, ensuring that they can be what they want to be and be the best at any time. And as my position as First Lady, to act as a role model to so many girls out there. So, boost their confidence that you can be whatever you want to be in life. We also have programs on the senior citizens in which we go to visit the senior citizens in the community. We cannot forget our elders because they have served our nation. And so when they retire back, apart from just calling them into a town hall, we have decided in the office of the First Lady to actually go and visit them in their habitats. It has taken us a long time to be able to put this together. We did our training way back in November or so, and we're just doing the handing over to you in March. It shows you that a lot has gone on. And you are also aware that these things, the prices are going up every day. So it will be very, very unfair, you know, for you to get this thing and then just sell it off. Please use it and also use it to teach somebody else. Some of them commend government for the support. The Lagos State government has empowered us in different ways. Like for instance, some people, um, they empower them with a the, uh, grinding machine, some work for organizers. And me particularly, I was empowered in the bathing section. I was giving clippers and a generating set for me to start my business. So I think this is a very good initiative by the um, Office of the First Lady of the Labour State and I pray that God continually blesses her. It's actually an opportunity for me. I'm, a, 
I'm a chef in Yoruba Oluku. I don't know what you call it in English. Yeah, I'm actually. I'm with this now. It's like I was not expecting something like this. I was not expecting something like. But when I came, out, like, oh, wow, this is like like a winning team for me. I just want to say thank you and God bless her so much. We say God bless her and give her more blessing in Jesus' name. We are very grateful. This also is going to be a because as a young boy and a husband, this will help me in some ways, like buying my hand out and other stuff. It will stop me from calling to my other Since 2019, thousands of people have been supported through the Community Sensitization and Empowerment Program, and the latest 350 beneficiaries have been asked to become employers of labor and also grow the economy. Away from empowerment program to environmental issue, this time the Lagos State Government has announced that the year 2024 rainfall will commence the first week of April and end by the first week of December. This is according to the State Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, Mr. Tokumbo Wahab, who made this comment during a press conference saying Lagos is expected to have normal and above normal rainfall. Take a listen. A month ago, major roads in Lagos State was flooded as a result of heavy downpour in the early hours of 20th of February 2024. From command area in Iyanarpaja to Wemko Road in Ogba, the fallout of rain is quite visible. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency has predicted that the country will witness normal rainfall this year, putting the earliest onset at March in some states. The Lagos State Ministry of Environment and Water Resources appears to be on top of its game, and the commissioner in charge, Mr. Tokumbo Wahab, briefs on the 2024 seasonal rainfall to prepare residents on the rainfall pattern expected to commence in April a few days from now. The rainy season is expected to start in the first week of April and cease in the first week of December while the average annual rainfall amount predicted is 1,936.2 mm and greater than the long-term average of 1,721.48 mm. Specifically, Ikeja is expected to have an onset date of 4th April with a cessation date of 4th December and a high annual amount of 1,900 mm. Badagri is expected to have a rainfall onset date of 1st April, cessation date of 5th December, and annual amount of 1,978 mm. Ikorodu is projected to have a rainfall onset date of 4th April and cessation date of 4th December with an annual amount of 1,903 mm. Lagos Island, on its part, is expected to have a rainfall onset date of 3rd April and a cessation date of 4th December with an annual amount of 1,000 936 mm. Epe is expected to have a rainfall onset date of 2nd of April and a cessation date of 5th of December, while the annual amount of rainfall will be 1,952 mm. Lagos State is expected to experience normal to above normal rainfall. The same is reflective of neighboring Ogun State. It is also expected that the high amount of rainfall sometimes may lead to flash flooding in parts of Lagos State. Because strong winds are expected during the onset and cessation of each rainfall season, lives and properties may, pro may be prone to risk. In a similar vein, commercial activities may be disrupted flight delays, and resultant revenue loss could also arise. It should be noted 
that the state has also deployed and continue to maintain its own network of weather stations as well as river gauge stations to monitor the, we the weather and river levels as well as increase our preparedness for weather and flood related issues. The state government says low-lying areas will be closely monitored but affected residents advise to move to higher ground for safety. To ensure a flood-free and hygienic environment in the state, the ministry has embarked on an all-year-round drainage maintenance program for effective and efficient flood control, in addition to an efficient and sustainable solid waste management system. We are also determined to maintain a long-established synergy and partnership with the Ogun Osho River Basin Authority, which has ensured control and monitoring of the steady and systemic release of water from Onyo Dam to prevent flooding and of the downstream reaches of the Ogun River. This mutual relationship has been highly beneficial in the past and will be sustained for the future. Therefore, the low-lying areas of agility Agboyi, Itowolu, and Ajegule communities in Lagos State are being closely monitored with respect to the likelihood of Ogun Oshu flooding, as well as all other river basins in the state. I want to utilize this platform to make a plea to Lagosians that, as is the case in several parts of the world, it is occasionally normal to have flash floods when it rains which will percolate or drain off rapidly. It is only when flooding remains on the road for hours that we can report that such places are flooded. We will step up our enlightenment effort to sensitize and advise communities in coastal and low-lying wetland areas of the state to move up land to avert the needless loss of life and property. The 2024 rainfall pattern is predicted to kick off in April and end in December, and the Lagos State Government says all necessary steps have been taken to resolve the issue of flooding. Residents have been asked to stop the habit of indiscriminate dumping of refuse and building on drainage paths or face the full wrath of the law. And finally on the program is the subsidized Sunday food market opened across the state. As the initiative continues across all local government areas, the deputy majority leader of the State House of Assembly, Mr. Adedamola Kasumu, who was out to monitor the exercise, says this is one of the programs rolled out by the state government to support the people at this very difficult time. And more support schemes will also be introduced by the State House of Assembly. Take a look. We're going to be opening, you know, um, what we call Sunday markets in about 42 markets in Lagos. Sunday market. What you would see in, that, in, in those markets, you know, is the same sort of like, you know, stable, you know, food item. But this time, you'll be buying, but you'll be buying at a reduced cost. We're going to cap what you can buy at not more than 25,000, and we'll be giving you a 25% rebate immediately there. Three weeks after the pronouncement was made by Governor Babajide Sonwulu, the Lagos Sunday market called Onja Eko is now open for residents across the five divisions of the state to reduce the economic hardship being experienced by the people. Kuramo Junior College, Victoria Island, is the first Sunday market visited. Not so many people are available due to the mix-up of their dress. They wrongly gave the address to be opposite the hotel, so some people might have missed their way. But now we have a lot of customers coming around to take their buy. The whole process is so simple. Once they come in, they take their voucher by indicating what they needed. As it is in the stamp board, they will look through which is opposite the finance institute here. Yeah.
One of the makeshift markets in the Keja area is Tokumbuali Primary School. Some residents arrived before the 11 a.m. shadow time to make their purchase, and this is what they have to say. The organization did good, but the only thing they will ref reschedule their uh, management because I thought maybe because they started today, the, the, everything is working in a way that not suit everybody. I believe by next time they will organize themselves well. So far so good. Good initiative, good work. Reward for good work is more work. <laughs> so it can't be 100% like perfect, but it's, it's a good way to start. The lead team of Ikeja Market explains the process of buying and selling at the vendor point. We have seven food items here. We have gari in 5 kg. We have beans in 5 kg. We have uh, rice in 5 kg. We have crates of eggs. We have uh, onions. We have loaves of bread and also uh, tomato on display. So if you come as a buyer, you have to have your ATM card with you. We have a payment service provider, Kauri. When you have your ATM, you give your ATM to them that you want this uh, food item you want to purchase. Then the government has given a 25% discount on each food item that you want to buy. So what you need to do is take your ATM card to the service provider, they will issue you a voucher. So based on the item you want to buy, you pick up the voucher, take it to the vendor, then collect your items. But you cannot buy uh, uh, two items at a time. So if you are giving them a voucher, that voucher must carry the food items you want to buy. But you can buy more than one food items, but not buying the same two items with one voucher. And the voucher you are carrying only works for this Sunday. So if you retain that voucher, you can't use, use it next Sunday. Yeah. At Agege area of Diary Farm Secondary School, hey, residents make their way to purchase food items. But egg and bread are the first two items being sold to the people as at the time of this visit. The announcement is this year. The two we have now is only for bread and egg. Because then if you are going there, you are only going to take voucher yeah, for bread and egg. Yeah, how are you doing? So I need to buy it came at the right time where people are complaining seriously and so at least this will this will still cushion the effect of hunger in the state so i want to i want i want to urge the lagos state government to keep it up and then i will also want to advise other states to emulate what lagos is doing The people of Ojodu are eager to make their payment and pick up their items. Some of them commend government efforts for the 25% discount. It's a, it's a very good initiative from the uh, Lagos State government, at least to bring the price of you know, food down you know, for the population of Lagos State. This is a very good initiative and I enjoyed it because uh, and the system is very smooth. You, know, you just come in, you pay for what you want, you know, what you want to buy, you through your ATM, which is very good, and after that, you line up to get it signed and then you collect your goods. That is a very good initiative. You know, it's, we want more of this from the Lagos State Government. The Deputy Majority Leader of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Adida Molakasumo, and a member of the State Special Dispensation Palliative Advisory Committee, Joe Okeodumaki, speak on the additional palliative from the Assembly with an assurance of better performance from next week. And to further support the people, we have also, as representatives, look for ways to also uh, cushion the effect with people. So for further support, uh, I as a representative of the people uh, also committing to 
uh, getting at least food vouchers uh, that would um, that would cost up to about a thousand naira food vouchers that will cut across 1,000 constituents at least, you know, to start with, to be able to further support the 25% discount that has already been given by the state government. It's a different and separate arrangement such that when you come here, uh, first, based on first come, first serve at least, the moment you come here and you request or you try to get food items, uh, you'll be given, as a constituent that is, you'll be given your vouchers uh, in support with whatever it is that you are trying to pay for. So further re reduction will come to play. What can be done is to increase the sales points so that we have more people and then more residents can be attended to. But I really, I want to salute the residents that I have seen so far. Agege here and some other feelers are well. Some of them still remain very calm, unprovoked. But some provoked. Uh, but the thing, the ambience I see is that of relative peace. The, we have the security around, but they have less work to do. And I want uh, Lagos residents to realize that this is just a pilot one. This. They, so they, they, well, they are just kickstarting all their concerns, all their worries to be attended to. This is a pilot phase of the subsidized Lagos Sunday market, expected to last for a period of three months. And the state government is appealing to residents to visit any of the 57 locations in order to benefit from the Food Palliative Initiative. So this is where we call it a day on this week's edition of the program Dateline Lagos. As always... Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Remember, be the best you can be and stay safe always. Till next time, is bye for now.